Guys, I'm Avis. This is Super Summer Cup Barbecue. But we are back. WWE Supercard Season 3 update just came out today. And we're going to go into a lot of detail about this one. It's a big update. It's a lot of things and a lot of stuff that hasn't really been advertised that I want to talk about. Plus, you got the brand new Fusion Chamber. For season three, well, it's not really brand new. It's the same fusion chamber you've had beforehand, but there's new fusions for hardened elite, and of course, that's huge ultimate tier fusion chamber as well as a brand new pack screen, brand new menus. These new cutesy animation things that like they're kind of cool, but you know, we'll, we'll give them a try during the video. These things called attitudes, which are brand new third day super card, and it looked pretty awesome. So. We're going to give those a run through today in this upload. But I'm going to ask you guys and gals, first of all, up front, if you can hit a huge like on this video, thumbs up. If you're going to hit it with either a Batista bomb, or you know what, get Mr. Socko on and hit the thumbs up button with Mr. Socko. If you can do that, that'd be amazing. Thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well for more WWE Supercard, WWE Champions, WWE 2K17, WWE content in general. You want to be here, right here on this channel. And let's go! So I've got... Supercar Season 3 right here. I'm going to actually look into it now. I'm actually doing this on my phone. I think you guys can actually hear the update this time. You can actually see the animations and whatnot. And you can see straight away there's a lot of new things in this update. The biggest thing that I like up front is that I left W Supercard after it updated on the main menu screen. And I would actually went to the pack section for half an hour. I came back, went onto it, and it didn't kick me out of the game. It was still on the pack section. Obviously, I'm assuming that if you're in the middle of a game, it will still kick you out again. But uh, we haven't tried that yet. But I'm assuming that the game now works similar to most other iOS games where you don't get kicked out of the game, you don't leave a match, etc. It will still keep you in a state that you left the game in, which is a really cool thing. And that will have a big, 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 big impact, I think, on people's enjoyability of the game. Because people, you know, they like to switch apps. I didn't like it when I used to come out of the app. I used to go to Twitter or Instagram and post something to people who follow me. And then come back out, maybe go to YouTube, check out an upload's doing. And then I, I come back into the game and it would close down. And I lost my, my progress in the game. Uh, so now it's able to stay open. You don't have to keep logging in, logging out, etc. Which is awesome. We're going to check out some of the things now. I'm going to go through some of the uh, different menus. As you can see here, we have got uh, all the same menus you, you'd expect. Uh, all, all the menus are, and the game modes are exactly the same. There's no difference. Rounds, money in the bank cards still haven't come out, but we are going to look at the fusion chamber in just a second. If we scroll to the right hand side, you've got the new Road to Glory, just to show you a little bit of a preview for that. Now you can see this brand new pack opening screen, which I really, really like. And I haven't opened the pack. And I feel that I want to, but I might just open one of the like the, 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 the Superstar Plus packs or something. Just to see what the new pack animation looks like. Because they actually look like packs here. And I think if this has now got a pack animation, that's, that's a good thing. Me personally, I think if you buy yourself an Elite pack, when you open it, it should have the rat unwrapping. And then it should have the animation, the pull animation, with the two big pieces of metal coming down. Where it shows you the one from the top, one from the bottom. And... I maybe think that they should do it that way. It maybe feels a bit more special then. But before I do that, I want to show you how they've improved these brand new packs. And trust me, for anyone who's starting the game, this is a great way to get yourself up the ladder. And I'm going to tell you right now, even if you are struggling to get yourself an ultimate support or an elite support, then this is the way to go. And these are very much like uh, Cat Daddy's other games. Uh, My NBA and I don't think NHL does this, but My NBA does this. If I go into the Elite Pack, which is the strongest pack you can buy, right? You don't no longer just get one card and an enhancement. Now you get one card that's Elite to Ultimate. And you get a support that's Elite to Ultimate as well. But also you also get an enhancement as well. And another two sets of Superstars, which might even be uh, Fusion Food. Or alternatively, might be uh, two pros you need in Hardened here. So as far as I'm concerned, that's a really big change. You know what? Value for money is always something that I, I'm big and passionate on. And now you can actually get support. I hope they stop you being able to support supports off the board. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, but you know what? If, if these, these packs things, maybe have them as rewards in King of the Rings and stuff. Uh, instead of having them as pullables uh, off the board. Anyone who's like a free player, I'm not saying you guys shouldn't get supports. I'm thinking they should be 
rewards in King of the Ring, maybe. But let's have a look at the Throwback Plus pack. It comes with one Throwback card from uh, Harden to Ultimate. It comes with another two sets of Throwbacks from Survivor to SummerSlam, which is quite cool. That will help me. Maybe I might finally get myself an Eddie Guerrero Pro. Maybe I might finally get myself an, a uh, Bret Hart Pro. A uh, Harden to Ultimate support. And uh, you'll get yourself an Enhancement as well. And if you want to go back down to maybe the SummerSlam packs and stuff like that, uh, I mean, it's just, this is a great way of offering people the ability to get themselves, I don't know, up the ladder. And uh, this is definitely something I, I'm really big on. The adding more value to the pack is big. And then you also you got the attitudes, which are these brand new purchasable. And also you get free, I believe, in-game free of charge, just normal. Uh, these brand new emoji kind of things. That's be a way of expressing your, I don't know, your opinion on a match or something like that. And uh, you can see here I've got Xavier Woods as the VIP. He is the guy who I'm going to be purchasing right now for 900 credits. Uh, I don't know whether the value is good, but it's a VIP. So I thought, you know what, let's go and do it. I'm going to use a sample just to show you what he does in game. So when it pops up with the, uh, the Xavier Woods, the VIP, then it will actually play this sound. So it says, Booty! Um, so it says Booty off the top there. And this is what it does in game. There's one with um, Ric Flair that goes, Woo! And you also got uh, John Cena as well. I don't know what John Cena does. But you got uh, 27 days worth of Xavier Woods. And I'm assuming that add more and more. I'm going to get myself Xavier Woods. There we go. So we get ourselves our first attitude, which is a Booty! Xavier Woods. And although I don't think it's animated, I want to check out uh, Goldberg. It says, you're mine. Uh, I'm not... That's, that's some kind of aggressive Valentine's Day thing. If I just press it now, it says, you're mine. I mean, you got got R-Truth here as well, uh, which has got my bad. Um, yeah, I, I, that's, that's, that's overused. Uh, Asuka says, hi. Hi. Nice. Thanks, Asuka. And you got uh, the uh, Alexa Bliss. That looks quite cool. Bo Dallas. Uh, <laughs> thanks. It has to be Bo Leave. Come on. And then you've got the uh, the, the wow from Biggie. You know what? I am going to go for Bo Dallas. Because all you got to do is Bo Leave. And there we go. Red Goldberg. You're man. Again, it sounds a little bit like, a, I don't know, some kind of aggressive Valentine's Day kind of approach. You can use these in Raw Rumble mode and in ranked mode than any PvP gameplay modes that come up in the future. They're pretty awesome, but only if you play Raw Rumble and if you play PvP modes. If you're playing against bots all the time, then you're not really going to be facing anyone that you know. Uh, if you're playing heavily in ranked mode or Raw Rumble mode, then you'll benefit from it quite a lot. But otherwise, you're not really going to see too much of a benefit from this mode. Right now, I think it's kind of like a, the early stages. So we're going to try out um, those attitudes now before we check out the new, brand new Fusion Chamber. So I'm going to go to a game of uh, the Royal Rumble. I'm going to actually just put in my best deck right now. Uh, there we go. So that's my best deck in. Let's go and play a game. Maybe we'll find ourselves a proper PvP game. Maybe we can throw a couple of these new attitudes at people. Maybe throw a bit of shade on them. Let's see who we get. Do we get someone? We got... Woo! Maybe he uses the Brick Flare remote a lot. I don't know. Uh, so I can go into it right now and you can see I, can, I can't I can add anyone. I think you have to set it up before the game. So I can't show you Xavier Woods right now. But you know what? You can turn it off by pressing the little mute button here. But you know what? I'm going to throw in <laughs> Ric Flair's Woo! Like it. Um, I like it. Like, you know, it adds a little bit of character to it. But, you know, it has to be PvP. So I'm going to throw in John Cena. Be well played. Just imagine if you're halfway through a Royal Rumble game and... That'd be amazing. Maybe uh, there, there is also a spam filter, so there's only like seven of them you can do in the game or something. So that's quite cool. We're going to get through this uh, Royal Rumble game mode. Let me know what you think of the attitude so far. Let me know if you're going to get yourself any in the comment section below. A thought so far is it's a nice little addition. It's a nice little thing. If you haven't seen Fusions before, you really should check out the link that I've got up the top right hand side of the page because that explains how fusions work and you're going to see roughly how they work over here but these new fusion cards are designed to be roughly on par with the uh, event cards in tiers or if you're for example uh, in hardened or elite tier then they'll be about on par as the throwback cards so 
They're kind of good, but they're not, you know, they're not amazing in terms of stats. But we're going to have a look at some of the uh, hardened fusions, first of all. Now, what they said is that these are based off of some of the most popular tag teams in WWE right now, including those that are in NXT, such as uh, Johnny Gargano. You've also got uh, Tommaso Ciampa as well. I've seen the animations on these. Uh, Akam as well and Reza, which are the uh, Authors of Pain and Alicia Fox. Now, one big omission, which I'm, I'm really surprised about, is that they have not included Mr. McMahon, Vince McMahon, as one of the fusions for this, which kind of reduces the want to do one of these because you always had the thing, feeling that if you got a single card in like a Leo Ultimate tier, you could get yourself maybe a Vince McMahon, which would get you like a really awesome support card. That would help you King of the Rings and stuff like that going forward. Then removing that has kind of put a little bit of a dampener on it. We're going to go to the elites now, though. We're going to see Jason Jordan. I guess he Chad Gable getting themselves their first fusions, their first cards above hardened as well. Uh, Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder, two cards. Uh, you've got American Alpha and you've got the Revival, both in WWE Supercard. It's only a good thing. And they got Maurice. The Maurice uh, is, I don't know how she measures up against Trish Stratus, who was in the uh, throwbacks, but you know, she's, she's pretty decent. She's pretty decent. But we're going to have a look now at the ultimate fusions. Cesaro, I love the designs. They, the, the, I, I imagine the pro is going to look absolutely incredible. Uh, the Cesaro and Sheamus have got pretty much the same stats, I believe. Oh, no, they've changed them slightly. They look like they had the same stats, but they've changed them slightly. Uh, which is a good thing. Uh, I, I like what they've done. Just the enough that Sheamus free stats Cesaro. You've also got Fandango, uh, part of the Fashion Police, who actually... Does he lose? No, no. He has two stats, Sheamus. That's cool. And then you also got Tyler Breeze. Now, I know one person is going to be very, very happy with this. Uh, but he's the fastest card in the fusion. I'm going to be honest with you. The choices they've used for the fusions are a tiny, tiny little bit of that down. Lana being a an up arrow was almost a guarantee because you've got the... Uh, first of all, you've got the Money in the Bank Charlotte. And you've got also got the Lita from the throwback packs. So there's going to be one reason to, to get yourself up to the ultimate tier fusions. So let's have a look at how much it costs to actually get yourself up to a, uh, a hard infusion. Because uh, this is one of the big points a lot of people are looking for is how much would it actually cost you. And you can see here that all the other previous fusions have been reduced. To get a survivor fusion, that's like one day of WrestleMania fusion, it's two days. SummerSlam is three days and it's five days for Elite and it's six days for Ultimate. Um, yeah, I'll, my comments on that in just a second. Very surprised that the ultimate cards aren't quite enough to get yourself a hard infusion. Uh, that it seems like they're making it quite hard to get these cards when, in reality, the stats on these aren't really that that amazing. Let's go and activate this now. So that means that both those cards are gone. The fusion chamber works in a way that then it, you you basically can then finish the card there and then, or alternatively, you can wait the four days or speed it up in stages. Now, if I wanted to go and get that done now, I'd have to spend 11,520. And I have 11,590. Am I going to speed it up? Hell yeah, no. And I can show you a much better use of your money right now. You All you need to do is come out of the Fusion Chamber. If you want to buy something that's going to be something similar to the Fusions, seriously, go to the pack section, go to the Throwback Plus pack and buy yourself one of those. The card stats on those cards are better. Seriously, the card stats on these are far better than the ones on the fusions. You'll do yourself a bigger favor doing this than you will by getting anything else. And you'll get yourself potentially a support card. And I, I, I'd then to even guess how much the ultimate fusion costs. But it isn't worth anywhere near the money. Yeah, sure, the designs look great. And I'm sure that the Pro looks fantastic. I've said this from the start with the Fusions. The Fusions need to be like they were in season, WWE Supercard Season 1. The stats need to be off the chain. The designs need to be amazing. And the characters that are in the Fusions need to be some of the best WWE Superstars going. And I'm sorry, there's only so much I actually want a Sheamus or a Cesaro card. It's just not my cup of tea. I totally dig the Fandango card, which I, I've shown on screen already in this video. I totally dig that, but me personally, uh, yeah, I, I ain't spending money on something that I could easily get by just opening up a throwback pack and getting pretty much the same card. You know what? I'm going to wait for this fusion. Uh, maybe I'm sure I'll get persuaded to speed it up in one of my streams. 
But as far as I'm concerned, I love the new update. I think it's great. I think some of the things on here, like the, the ability to keep the game running, is fantastic. I'm almost in love with the Elite Fusions because I think they just... The fact they've got American Alpha versus the Revival is just amazing. And the attitudes are a really nice welcome introduction to the game. And it's something I think that people will embrace over time. And it, it's something that's pretty cool. It works. But as far as I'm concerned, the Fusion Chamber is a little bit of a letdown. Um, they should have made it way, way cheaper. I mean, I can give you an example. I even mentioned the Ultimate. If you don't get yourself an Ultimate from the throwback, there's an Ultimate event here. And this card at the end, this Randy Orton card, the stats on this will kick the ass of every single other card. It four stats every single Fusion card. So if you want to get yourself a really awesome Ultimate card, then you probably are better going for the event, Randy Orton, than you are going for pretty much anything else. Anyone who's in Hardened or Elite, good on you. Get yourself a couple of Fusions. Maybe speed up one if you really want to push yourself. But honestly, you're better using the throwback packs. Uh, you've got, probably got more chance with the throwback packs of packing yourself a pro than you have with the Fusions. So, and you'll use less of your own cards by doing it. So... Just a couple of tips from me there, but uh, hope you enjoyed this. Remember to leave a like on the video if you like what you saw, and also let me know what you think in the comment section below about everything I've mentioned about the fusions, the attitudes, everything else. And don't forget to subscribe using the link that's going to pop up just down here, and also do not forget to check out the description below for these to Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Go and check out all those, follow, and also like those pages. I'll see you soon. One last thing, and that is to... Zoli!